when the Pittsburgh Steelers play the Arizona Cardinals, they're going to beat them. I've got the score being 20 to 10. So the Steelers are going to run the ball all over that Cardinals defense. Even without James Conner being there, they're still going to have an effective running game. And without Judy Smith-Schuster being there, they're still going to throw the ball well enough to win the game. So in terms of running the ball, so Snell, Edmonds, whoever's running the ball for the Steelers on Sunday will do a great job. They'll have a great game grounding and pounding the Arizona Cardinals defense. In terms of receiving, James Washington will pick up the slack there. Vanette will do his thing. Vance McDonald will catch some passes too. So offensively, they will do just enough to win. As we know, the Steelers defense has been playing very well. They have come alive. They've been causing a lot of turnovers. They've been sacking the opposing team's quarterbacks. So the same thing will happen on Sunday when they play against Kyler Murray. So Kyler Murray is going to be in for a long, hard day. So I'm looking for Hayward to have a sack or two, TJ Watt to do his thing out there, and then Minka Fitzpatrick, he might get a turnover as well. So he might get an, an interception or a return a fumble, and I think that's going to be the formula for how the Steelers are going to win. So after this game, they're going to be 8-5. They're going to just play well overall. They're going to control the clock because they know that's the formula for them winning. Doug Hodges will be careful with the football. He's not going to be careless. The Steelers will give him an opportunity to make plays, but he's not going to throw the ball 50 times against the Cardinals. That's not going to happen. So the Steelers running backs, whether it's Snell or Edmonds, they're going to just dominate the ground game. They're going to neutralize the Cardinals defense that way. And then when the Cardinals make an effort to try to stop the run by putting multiple defenders in the box, the Steelers will throw over the top of them and they'll just capitalize that way in terms of the passing game. So it'll be a good game. It'll be entertaining. The Cardinals offense is tough. They've got Kyler Murray. We know that they've got Kingsbury. He's a creative offensive mastermind. So I'm sure they're going to come up with ways to stymie the Steelers defense. But it only worked for maybe a short time. But in the end, the Steelers will figure out how to shut them down. They'll make the adjustments. We know that Mike Tomlin is the Steelers coach, and he always has his team ready to play. So I'm not worried about that at all. The Steelers will bring their A game. They're going to continue to win. As we know, the Steelers are playoff bound right now. And they're going to keep winning after this game. Like I said, they'll be 8-5. and five. They've won six out of the last seven games, if I'm not mistaken. And they're going to win on Sunday. It's going to be a fun game. It's going to be entertaining, despite Ben Roethlisberger not playing and Judas Smith-Schutz not playing and James Conner not playing. The Steelers offense will still be playing well enough to win. So that's what's going to happen on Sunday. And I look forward to seeing it. And I'm sure all of you Steelers fans are looking forward to seeing it as well. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. You should definitely subscribe to my channel. If you haven't done so already, just press that subscribe button below this video. If you did that, I'd greatly appreciate it. And plus by subscribing, you wouldn't miss out on any future content that I post. So you should definitely subscribe. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope that all of you have a blessed, wonderful day.